Hi there, welcome back to the PWR video series. Today I'm talking with our PWR representative, Mike, about the different kinds of pulleys and the proper way to install and remove them. And I gotta admit, Mike, I'm a little confused. I mean, I knew going in that there were different kinds of pulleys for V-belts versus serpentine belts, but you say there's more to it than that. A little bit more to it than that. Okay. So V-belts, serpentine belts, okay, but now the pulley, the way it's attached to the pump. Such as? Such as these two examples here, the factory attaches the pulley to the pump where it's not made to be removed. Okay. If you replace the pump, it will come with the pulley. So we don't need to worry about those. We don't need to worry about okay. those, okay. Here's an example here where the pulley is bolted on. Oh yeah. In the eventuality, you have to remove the pulley, okay? You have to make sure that you reinstall the pulley on a new pump with the right torque spec on the nut. Oh, okay, okay. yeah, okay. Make sense? Very, very good. Okay, in this case here, I've already removed the pulley. Now, why to show that? you the installation holes are in the back of the pulley. So you have to remove the pulley to install the pump. Of course. And then you put the pulley back on. And you attach to these flanges. To the flange. Very Three good. 10 millimeter bolts, factory spec torques again. Factory spec. Always. Now what about this one? This one is a pump with a removable pulley. All right. Very easy to recognize this type of pulley because it's, that is a flange. I see okay? it. You need a removable and installation tool to remove this pulley. Two separate tools. Two separate tools, one kit. Okay. Okay. And the idea is before taking the pump off, you have to see if the shaft is flush with the pulley or if it's protruding a little bit. Sliding or, slightly in, yes, slightly out. Because this pulley has to align the same way on a different pump. Ah, and so you, you need to, to sure get exactly it back the on the spot. way it was yeah. when you took it off. The, Original manufacturer builds a little bit of an end plate in the shaft. Okay? Oh, that's not a defect, my No, opinion? it's to enable to align the pulley. Ah, okay. okay. However, let's say you put it the same position and it's still not lined up properly. You need to line it up. You need to take the tool, either the installer or the puller, to pull it in or push it out. And get it where it was when where you started off. Where it needs to be, off. to line up with the belt. Okay. okay, all right. How does that look? I mean, is that a process that takes a long time? I've got a great video. Let me show you. Excellent, let's have a look. Wow, Mike, that is a pretty straightforward process. And of course, having the right tools really helps, doesn't it? Yes, you need to remember that you need the tool to install and remove a pulley. If you try to beat it on with a hammer or press it with a press, you will damage the pump. Got it. I also noticed that whether you were attaching or removing, you were using a standard wrench. Yes. But I'm, I'm an impact wrench guy. I really yeah. like those things. Well, Jim, we don't recommend using an impact wrench. No? No. It could damage the inside of the pump, and it could also damage the tool. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Now, if you must use an impact wrench, the pump has to be standing up. If you're putting the pump on his back like this, it will definitely damage the pump. And that's especially important for bench applications because on the car, it's going to be upright. It's going to anyway. be upright anyways. That's right. exact. But the best procedure is to use a standard wrench. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. So I guess to sum up, we want to use the right tool or tools for the job, and there are two of them. Don't use the impact wrench unless you absolutely have to, and if it's standing up straight, Yes. It's got to be. No hammer, no press. Okay. You must use a tool to install and remove the pulley. Tips to remember from PWR. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching our PWR Steer video series. And please check out our other videos. And remember, our products are 100% new, 100% tested, engineered in Memphis, Tennessee.